Check out game prep before this week's game to earn XP and boost player confidence. Check out game prep before this week's game to earn XP and boost player confidence. Hello everyone, I'm Larry Ridley, and this is the NFL on EA Sports. The matchup at quarterback is one we've seen play out many times during their days in the NFC South. It's Matt Ryan going up against Drew Brees. Now we'll take you out to the Georgia Dome for this matchup. The Saints are back deep waiting for the kick. The top team in the NFC will start today on defense. They'll be kicking it away here. And this heated rivalry matchup is underway. Spillers running this one out. And he tackled just past the 20 will mark it at the 22 yard line Breeze heading out for his first series he was able to move the ball up and down the field last week ending up with over 350 passing yards things have worked out great for Drew Breeze down here in New Orleans you know it's a good thing the San Diego Chargers didn't want him anymore because he got hooked up with Sean Payton and his career has just gone upwards ever since then First down at the 22. It's complete over to Brandon Cooks. Cooks route running is awesome. That time he runs the curl route, keeps the defender behind him, and gives the quarterback an opportunity to throw it high, low, wherever he wants. Nice job that time by the quarterback, and the play is just short of a first down. Second and three. And Ingram's got it on the screen. Quarterback should have never thrown at that time. Even though he completes the pass, he should have seen the defense was right there. A loss of a couple yards. Loss of two on that play. The Saints snap it up at the 26. He'll throw it over the middle. Locked in on the football and has hold of it with two hands. There's no doubt time of possession can be an overrated stat in games many times. But one thing you want to do, throw and catch it just like this to pick up those first downs and keep it going. They're going back up top. Colston's got, he's in the clear. What a nice throw and catch that time, but here it just shows you why you want to have a lot of speed on the defensive side. So when you make a mistake, what do you do? You make up for it by chasing the player down from behind and making the tackle. Collins is there to make the tackle. Arm strength is a nice thing to have when the window of opportunity is very small. Quarterbacks with strong arms can still fire it in there. Nice throw right on target by the QB. First and goal. What a catch. Touchdown. If you go to an NFL practice, they spend about 40% of their time practicing plays going in to score. That's why they made it look so easy here. Nice throw by the quarterback on first and goal. 
Colston's going to watch now as his defense gets ready to come into the game. He just put up over 50 yards receiving, helping his team go down the field for the score. And he's going to be brought down right around the 33-yard line. Ryan's going to be leading the offense once again today. He didn't have a big game last week, so we'll see if that changes here today. Size is a talent when you talk about quarterbacks in this league, and Matt Ryan, every bit of six foot five, and he plays tall, stands tall. One of the reasons why he has success. First down at the 33. Freeman is taking the hand. Good job by the defense. They stopped the first down play that time by the offense, and now they have a good situation. Loss of a couple that time. Hand off. Trying to fight through right up the middle of the field. Games 12. Falcons now facing third down. A week ago, they were up to the challenge in these spots. The Falcons take it from the 43. He's tackled beyond the markers. It's a first down. You're running back in this league and you pick up first downs. If you don't bump the football, I promise you one thing, you're going to get more carries. First and ten. Ryan's going to take off with it. Jones going to pull in the bullet pass. The Falcons offense still in gear. Hoping to pick up where it left off at the end of the first. After the long game, let's see what they do here. And the second quarter is underway with this snap. White's got the catch and the first. When you run the slant route, it's very important to know as a receiver that you're going to catch that football probably in between some linebackers. Ryan's got it in the gun. Got a flag down here. Oh, and almost picked off that time. Holding defense. I'm at first Coming down. up to the line at the seven. Ready. Back to the air here on first down. And free. Touchdown. Lions, 35th touchdown pass of the season. And it didn't take long for them to get this game right back to even here in the second quarter. Yeah, that's a nice drive on the offensive side. That makes you feel good. And you just to execute so many plays and find a way to get down there and score a touchdown. He made it. Falcons were very effective on that scoring drive, especially via the pass. Over 50 passing yards on that scoring drive. Spiller's going to run this one out. And he's tackled just past the 20. We'll mark it at the 22-yard line. The Saints now ready to take over again on offense. They were successful on their previous drive, getting the ball all the way to the end zone. I'm sure they're looking for more of the same right now. Oh, absolutely. That's, that's what you always want. You want to find your way to the end zone, and so many people contributed on that last drive, and you've got to give the coaches a lot of credit for putting the players in excellent position. Good job by the quarterback that time. He doesn't panic. He reads that it's a zone, and you have to wait for the receivers to get in between the defenders. Nice throw and catch. Breeze, 7 for 7 with that completion. Up in the air, and he's got the catch. Well, we see it more and more. Football thrown behind the line of scrimmage. They do it that time. Nice catch, but a loss of yards on the play. Loss of 4 on the play. Glad to have you back as we come out of the two-minute warning here in the first half. The Saints take it from the 23. Mark Ingram with the reception. Good job by the defense. They're well-taught, well-schooled by the defensive coordinator. 
They know in situations like this, if it's thrown short of the first down marker, they're good. They come up, make the tackle. Now we have fourth down. Going to try his luck here. And he's going to be tackled right around the 37. And a run back of about 12. The Falcons offense heading back onto the field to start the drive after the result of their last possession was a touchdown. You think they've got another one in them, partner? Oh, I absolutely do. Look, I mean, just look at it. they got a good football team. The quarterback has great confidence and talent. And you put those things together, that makes you good. It makes you dangerous. And I wouldn't be surprised to see him march down there again. Nice run that time. When you run the football like this over a period of time, it's going to wear that defense out. There's no doubt about it. Nice job by the offensive line. The quarterback, he's changing the play with the wide receiver with those hand signals. Running room. That picks up seven. Good job that time by the ball carrier. Picking up what he can, and he is very smart. Gets out of bounds to stop the clock. First down and 10. And now Ryan's going to take off. On target. Touchdown, Atlanta Falcons. He's caught his seventh touchdown pass of the season. And as we near the half, the lead now is theirs thanks to that touchdown. Yeah, you know, how, look at that. Just think about how much that changes the mentality of both teams. One now all psyched up and mostly feeling great. And the defensive side, oh, my gosh, they are down and have to be disappointed about how they played on that drive. The Saints getting set to return the kickoff. Cooks is going to test the coverage here. And they crash into him, ending the return at the 20-yard line. The Saints got absolutely nothing out of their previous possession. And here they are back on the field. Another three and out, I would have to think, would be very demoralizing to this team right now, Phil. Yeah, it's going to be demoralizing to the offense, but I'll tell you who's going to be more demoralized is the defense because they need to sit on the sidelines and get a little rest. So I know there's a lot of pressure on this offense right now. We've come to the end of the first half in the Olympic City of Atlanta. We'll take a quick break here for halftime before returning for the start of the third. Thanks, Jim, and welcome to the EA Sports Halftime Report. I'm Larry Ridley. The Falcons want to continue to give their fans something to cheer about in the second half. The Saints, on the other hand, want to quiet this crowd and turn things around. All right, let's roll the highlights. Saints opening the game on offense. Colston's wide open, able to make the grab. And the play will come to an end after a gain of 35. Saints have it later on the drive. Completion is made across the middle of the field. And this play will go for six. They strike first in the half. Falcons have it at the seven. Here the pass would be completed into coverage. And it leads to a touchdown. We're tied back up at seven. Late in the second. Here we get a quick pass and completion, and he's got to go 48 yards for the score. Falcons up by a touchdown. All right, Larry, thank you for all of those updates, and now the teams are coming. back onto the field and we're about to get the second half started and the second half is underway between these old rivals and he's taken down right at a 
about the 29, not quite to the 30. The Falcons offense is in rhythm. Coming back out for another drive. The last two times they've had it, they found the end zone. Their rhythm, they make, they're making it look easy, Jim. It's like watching you dance. You have such great rhythm. It looks like you're not even working at it. So that's how it looks for the, this offense here today. This will be second down. Ryan will be taking this snap out of the pistol. Freeman's handed the football. Great situation to be in for the defense right here. It's third long, and even though their team is losing the game, you could get after the quarterback and hope you can find a way to force a turnover. The Falcons have it at the 29. Ryan's now going to leave the pocket and tuck it under. A nice grab. No doubt he was going to hold on to that one. That's another reception given to. That's what you want to do. Get a first down while you're on top and keep that clock moving and just controlling the football game. Good job by the offense managing things so far here today. And off out of the eye. Ryan's five for five after that completion. The Falcons really got it going now. They got confidence. They got momentum. They got a small lead here in the second half. And that first down, what does it do? It just gives the offensive coordinator confidence. And, of course, this quarterback, he is always ready to go. Looking across the middle, Atlanta in for the score. Tight ends are a position where you got to be able to do it all. you got to be able to block, run routes, and you got to be able to get in position. So you have a chance to catch the touchdown pass. Good job by the tight end. Touchdown. The Falcons for the extra point. Inside of the uprights. The Falcons getting ready to kick it off. Spiller's going to test the coverage this time. Tackled down at the 22. That returns good for about 24. The Saints talk things over at the intermission, and I'm sure one of the first orders of business was to try to figure out a way to get this offense going, Phil. Absolutely. That's what you want to do, and I think you do that by play call. So the coach, they have many plays that we call drive starters. Catch the defense by a surprise. They need to call one of those right here and right now to get this offense going. The Saints snap it at the 26. He's got the catch. And they are in on Spiller. Jim, when you're down multiple scores in the second half, you're looking for the little things to get momentum on your side. So just get a first down. Don't look for the big plays. That was a good job by the offense that time. The Saints from the 37. Up the gut here. Ingram's brought down after picking up just a yard. If you want to run the football with success, you're going to have plays like this where they pick up very little yardage. Don't listen to the fans. Keep running it, and it'll work. Second and eight. Brandon Cooks makes the catch. Cooks is the injured player, and will take a break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Ingram lines up in the backfield. And he's taken down, but not until he picks up the first. Ingram's able to get it done that time. Why? Because he has the power and the will to make it happen. Third short, he just gets it done with sheer willpower. First and ten. Once again, a running play. And Ingram's taken down at the 49. Safeties are becoming a bigger part of the NFL every year. That time, the safety comes up and gets in there and makes the tackle for no gain. The quarter is about to end. One more play first. 
the Saints will come to the line trying to put together a scoring drive here in the fourth. Final quarter underway now with this snap. Look at that concentration as he makes the grab. That's reception number two for him. What can a defensive back do in a situation like this? The answer is nothing. How about the throw right on target by the quarterback and a good route on an out route by the receiver? Throws the pass. Pulls it in. That's been the story of this game. Another third down conversion to move the chains. There has been good pass protection for the quarterback all day long. He has not been sacked much, and he throws it there and gets another completion. The Saints have it at the 24. Underneath, but can't find the mark that time as the pass goes incomplete. Quarterbacks love to see a receiver uh, have this type of play. Even though he doesn't make the catch, the effort is outstanding, and he's given everything he has to make that catch. Second and ten. Looking at every option. Intercepted. That's a touchback, and the ball will be spotted at the 20. That was an awesome job by the defense. They just read the quarterback's eyes. They got in position, and they made the interception. The Falcons offense coming back onto the field. It was a good drive for them the last time they had it. All the way down to the end zone for the touchdown. Yeah, you know, this game, Jim, it's all about momentum. And when you feel you've got the momentum on your side, you've got to take advantage of it. So now I think it's up to the offensive coordinator to call the right plays. Second down following the run. We're back. Only two minutes remain in this one. It's a two tight end formation. Taken down at the 49. Timeout called by the defensive unit. In plus territory at the 49. Here they come back to the line after picking up over 20 yards on that last play. Ryan's going to scramble. Gets it out for the completion. It's always nice when there's trouble in the pocket that the quarterback's able to run and get outside that pocket and make throws on the run. Nice job that time completing the pass. Falcons take it from the 38. Freeman's marked down at the 19. Timeouts called. We're going to step aside. Be back in just a moment. The defense got to be a little aggressive here. Your team is down. You've got to attack this offense. You don't want them to get in there and get another score. Now first and ten. Robinson's in on the tackle. And the defense will use one of its timeouts right here. Stepping up to the line at the six-yard line. No margin for error from just outside the goal line. Tackle made by Bird that time. Great call here by the coach in this situation. Keep running the football. Keep that clock moving. You have the lead. Just tell your quarterback to tell everybody on offense this. Hold on to the football and don't have a penalty where you can stop that clock. Jim, I love these situations. Third and goal, what are they going to call? They're going to run the football, they're going to go with the pass, and if it is a pass, I will look for something quick. Loss of two on that play. Third and goal from the three. Hand off, out of the eye formation. That's a gain of only a yard. The offense is still on the field right now. Fourth down, and they'll need to pick up two. Out of the eye. Here's the handoff. Yeah. 
The Saints retaking the field with their offense in a game that hasn't been very pretty here of late. Turnovers by both teams on the last two possessions. Well, define the word pretty. I think if you ask the defensive teams, hey, they love this game. It's beautiful. So, so far, the takeaways by the defense, that's the story. Second down, late in the fourth quarter. Well, there's just no other option for the offense right here. They got to go to the hurry up because they have no timeouts left. So get as many plays off as you can. Coming up, third down. A huge moment. Third and four. He'll throw it over the middle. Here's Colston. That's his third catch of the day. First down. Pressure on every snap now. Going to the hurry up. Under a minute to go here. Second down coming up. Launches it down the field. And it's incomplete. That's interesting as you watch the receiver trying to make that catch. He knew the defender was close, so he didn't put all of his heart into it. The defender made a nice hit and knocks the football out to the ground. Third down and ten. Scans the field. Looking long to Colston. Incomplete. Phil, we last saw an undefeated regular season out of the Patriots back in 2007, and now we have another one. You know, Jim, we do. We saw that one, and it's amazing it's not talked about. We know why it's not ever talked about, because they did not win the Super Bowl. So if this team doesn't go on and win the Super Bowl, nobody's going to care. They're just going to say it was just another season where you lost before the Super Bowl was over. So for Phil Sims and all the crew at EA Sports, Jim Nance saying so long for now. Check out game prep before this week's game to earn XP and boost player confidence.